There were three mass shootings in the span of a week in El Paso, Texas, in Dayton, Ohio, and at the Garlic Festival in Gilroy, California. In a staggering statistic tonight, there have been more mass shootings so far in 2019 than there have been days. Today is the 217th day of the year, and according to the nonprofit Gun Violence Archive, there have been 251 mass shootings. So how to stop the attacks? Passions ran high debating that question in New Hampshire, where lawmakers are considering new gun control. Bills. WBZ's Christina Rex joins us now live from Concord. Christina? Hey, Lisa and Liam, it was packed and it was tense inside the legislative building here in Concord when a man brought a rifle to a gun control rally. Enough is enough. Be with us. Hundreds of New Hampshire residents stormed Governor Chris Anunu's office to push for gun reform in the wake of two mass shootings over the weekend. Am I next? Teenagers and senior citizens, all with signs and stories to pressure the governor to sign three incoming gun control bills into law. It's almost like scary to like go to school now. The politically polarizing topic was no less controversial in Concord. So the reason that I brought this 12-gauge shotgun right here is in political protest. 21-year-old Brennan Robinson showed up to the rally with a shotgun. He believes the mass shootings in El Paso and Dayton over the weekend that killed 30 people were sad, but could have been prevented another way. I really hope that I was there. I would have shot the damn shooter. I would have tried to protect people, and I would have taken action. He stayed behind as the group walked to the governor's office, where they demanded a meeting with Sununu. Instead, they were met with a representative from his office who listened to their concerns. We know that there are several factors, many factors that contribute to gun violence, but at the top of the list is guns. One woman begged for the governor to listen, explaining that she felt lucky that New Hampshire hadn't experienced what other towns like Sandy Hook and Parkland have. I, and I think everyone here, would urge the governor not to wait for our luck to run out. And we did just receive a written statement from Governor Sununu's office. He says he was horrified by the acts of hate and violence over the weekend. He also says to be mindful that mental health is a significant factor in these mass shootings going on to write about how his administration has expanded mental health resources here in the state of New Hampshire, but not specifically addressing those gun control bills. Live in Concord, Christina Rex, WBZ News.